identifying near and far. Hello children, I am the parrot. Welcome you to this lesson. Let's see what we will learn in this video. Identifying objects which are near and far and identifying the nearest and farthest objects. Choto and Aarti are walking home from school today. On the way back home, Aarti spoke to Choto. Choto, we leave from school to go home at the same time. But you always arrive early and I get home later. Why is it so? Children, do you know why does this happen? Come on, let us see. Aarti, my house is near the school and your house is far from the school. So that's why I reach home early and it takes you more time to reach home. Okay, now I understood Chotu. So kids, did you see? Chotu's house is near the school and Aarti's house is far from the school. That is why it takes her more time than Chotu to reach home. One day Chotu, Aarti and Sonu were returning from the park after playing. While returning, they wanted to have some ice cream. I am very tired friends. Let us go and have some ice creams today. Come on, let's go to Lala Bhaiya's shop to eat ice cream. No, that shop is far away. Come on, let's go to Chinmun Aunt's shop. It's nearby. Just look, there is an ice cream shop nearby. Yes, it is nearest. Let's go and eat from here only. Chotu, Aarti and Sonu together took ice creams from the nearest shop. So children, you saw Lala Bhaiya's shop is the farthest from all three friends and the ice cream shop was nearest. Therefore, the three friends took ice cream from the nearest shop. In this video, we learned identifying objects that are near and far and identifying the nearest and farthest objects. In the next video, we will see interesting examples of identifying the near, far and nearest and farthest objects. Till then, bye friends. In the previous video, we identified near and far objects and identified the nearest and farthest objects. In this video, we will see interesting examples of identifying near, far and nearest, farthest objects. Today, there is no school, so Chotu and Pinky are watching TV. That's when their mother comes into the room and says, Chotu, Pinky, don't see the TV from near. Come on, get up from the sofa near the TV and sit on this sofa far from the TV. Chotu and Pinky get up from the sofa nearest to the TV and go to the one farthest from the TV. So children, now Chotu and Pinky are sitting on a sofa which is far from TV. Children, Pinky's favorite doll is also kept in the room. Can you tell me who is near the TV? Toto or the doll? Right children, the doll is near the TV and Choto is sitting away from the TV. So children, hope now you know how to identify near and far objects. Today Chotu's maternal uncle has come and he has brought three toy cards for Chotu. Chotu took his new cards and went out to play with his friends Aarti and Sonu. Friends, today I have brought three cards with me. Come on, let's play. 
Yes, let's race these cars and see whose car goes farthest from here. Yes. Chotu, Aarti and Sonu rotate the keys of their respective cars and place them together at the starting point and get ready for the race. One, two, three. All the cars started moving. After some time, all the three cars stopped. Let us see which of the three cars has stopped at the farthest point and which car has stopped at the nearest distance. I won! I won! Oh! My car is the farthest from here. Sonu's car is behind my car. And Chotu, your car is nearest to us. So children, did you see? Aarti's car went the farthest and Chotu's car the nearest. So kids, in this video we saw interesting examples of identifying the near, far and nearest, farthest objects. In the next video we will see some common mistakes in identifying the near, far and nearest, farthest objects. Till then, bye friends. Hello children, in the previous video we saw some interesting examples of identifying the near, far and nearest farthest objects. In this video we will learn about some common mistakes which should be avoided in identifying the near, far and nearest farthest objects. Today, Aarti and Chotu are talking during their lunch time. Aarti, yesterday I walked to school with my mother and I felt that the school is very far from home. But today I came in car with my father and I felt that the school is very near. Why is it so? Chotu, the school doesn't go far or near. Yesterday, when you walked to the school with your mother, you took more time. And today, you came by car. Hence, it took less time. Okay. So friends, did you see? The school did not get far or near when Chotu was walking or coming by car. It happened because one day, it took Chotu more time to reach and the next day, it took less time to reach. Chotu and Pinky were playing in the park. Look Pinky, there is a small ball lying in the corner of the park. Hey, yes, it is a small ball. Let's go and get it. Pinky and Chotu went near the ball. Pinky, this ball is looking bigger as we are coming closer to it. See Pinky, this ball was looking small. Now it is looking big. Why is it so? You are right Chotu. It is a big ball. Children, Chotu felt that the ball is small from a distance and when he went near, it is looking big. You are right. Things look small when seen from a distance. When we get closer to the object, we are able to see the real size of the object. That's why they look big when we get near the object. So children, that's all for today. In this video, we have learned about some common mistakes which should not be made while identifying the near far and nearest far objects. I hope you have understood this topic correctly. Bye friends!